working together to connect. Radio frequency electromagnetic fields are all around us. These invisible waves send information between base stations and devices, connecting us without the use of wires. Radio frequency electromagnetic fields, or RF EMF, transmit information wirelessly to our cell phones and Wi-Fi enabled devices. In 2019, there were 8.3 billion mobile phone subscribers globally. If roughly every 1,000 subscribers need one cellular mast, that would mean that there are more than 8 million base stations around the world. With the growing number of cellular stations, wireless technologies and devices, are there health effects associated with RF EMF? This public concern surrounding RF EMF exposure limits creates a challenging health issue for regulators, service providers and wireless equipment suppliers. RF EMF exposure levels, which are monitored around the world, consistently show low levels of exposure relative to international RF EMF levels. There is no evidence that RF EMF exposure below the international limits has adverse health effects. More and more countries refer to international RF EMF exposure limits. However, many governments face pressure to do more to address public concerns. ITU members have co-created a report on human exposure to RF EMF. The report focuses on science-based policies, guidelines, regulations and assessments. It provides guidance to policymakers to avoid unnecessary restrictive regulations, which could negatively impact information and communication services. The best practice for administrations is to limit the exposure levels to the threshold specified in the ICNIRP, International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection Guidelines 2020. WHO advises against introducing new limits in addition to the existing science-based limits, as it undermines the credibility of the science and exposure limits. And ICNIRP Guidelines 2020 say additional measures won't benefit people's health. The report recommends raising community awareness to reduce unnecessary public concerns and provides best practices from many countries. There is more work to be done to ensure that people can connect to essential digital services, knowing that they are protected and informed. Working together to connect. www.itu.int